Hi students, welcome to Chem 300 and the Year 11 Chemistry course. This is Module 1, Properties and Structures of Matter, and we're looking at relative atomic mass and how we can calculate that. Well, one of the things that you may have noticed is that we have some anomalies in our periodic table. While our atomic numbers are whole integers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, the mass numbers are not. Um, hydrogen, for example, is 1.008. Why is that? What is going on? Why can't we just have whole numbers and make it nice and easy for us to calculate protons, neutrons, and, and to draw atoms? Well, the reason is because of the number of different isotopes that exist. And so the relative atomic mass is actually a mass that takes into account the relative proportions of all of the different isotopes of the um, particular element. So whilst atomic numbers are always expressed as whole integers, hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, and so on, the atomic mass can come down to the second or third decimal place. And this is because it is the uh, a value that reflects the proportion of different isotopes. So therefore, if, uh, for example, um, I've talked about carbon-12, and the reason that carbon-12 is here is because it's the standard. So in science, we have to have something to compare things with. We like our controls. We like uh, something that can be a reference point. Carbon-12 is the reference point. So when you have um, an atom of carbon-12, we've said that that is equivalent to 12 AMU, or atomic mass units. If there was um, another isotope of carbon called carbon-13, which there is, and if both carbon-12 and carbon-13 occurred in equal amounts, naturally, then you would have 50% carbon-12 and 50% carbon-13. That's, that's a very simple calculation because it's effectively um, 0 0.5 of 12 and 0 0.5 of 13, which is 6 and 6.5. And this would give us a mass of 12.5. And that's what you would expect. If we had 50% 12, 50% 13, then we would write the mass as 12.5. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to tell us which um, of the isotopes is the most common isotope, because obviously that's the one that's going to be most closest to what the overall mass is. We know that the, the atomic mass of carbon and the periodic table is 12.01, which means then there is very, very small amounts of slightly heavier um, isotopes of carbon. Let's look at an example, a practical example. Now, again, these numbers are not correct, and you'll know that by looking at the periodic table. But what we're doing is looking at the process just for the moment. So here's the sort of question that you could get in terms of calculation of relative atomic mass. So 95% of hydrogen exists as hydrogen 1, 4.5% as hydrogen 2, and just 0.5% as hydrogen 3. What would be the relative atomic mass of hydrogen? So if you were given a question with these numbers, this is the process that you would go through. Firstly, the contribution of, of H1 to the mass is 0 0.95, it's 95% of its mass of 1, 9, 5. The contribution of H2 is only 0 0.045, but we're multiplying that by 2, so we get 0 0.09. And then uh, 0 0.005 uh, 0 multiplied by 3 gives us 0 0.015. When we add these together, what we get is 5, 5, um, 5, 5, uh, 0, 1. So what we end up with is an atomic mass for hydrogen of 1.055 atomic mass units. And this would be your relative atomic mass of hydrogen. One thing we know of, of course, is that when we check out our periodic table, we find that the actual mass is 1.008. So if that's what the actual mass is, what could you say about the relative um, isotopes, abundance of each of the isotopes of hydrogen? 
Thanks for watching.